All right, welcome back. This is Max. Um, I adjusted the lighting. Hopefully this would be a little clearer where you can see my line art. I know my first video was not very good. You couldn't even see the line art. Um, but here it is. Um, this is how it looks. Here's our reference. Okay. Again, like I said, the line art looks kind of comical. Um, and it could be discouraging sometimes because you look at this and this, it's completely different. But like I said, you just got to be patient um, and work through it, you know. Whatever you're afraid of, whatever, you know, is discouraging or feeling, un, you know, you feel unmotivated, just work through it. Um, it's worth it. Trust me. Um, I always try to start with the center of focus. Um, you want to start small and then expand bigger. Um, for me, I always start with the left eye. I know I'm weird like that. All my portraits, I always start with the left eye. Um, and I feel that if the eyes don't look right, then the likeness will not be there. The eyes have to look right, um, or else the rest of the drawing won't even look like the person. So I like to start at the eyes. Um, even though I'm personally, I'm a lip person. I love the lips. Um, that's my favorite part of the face. But yeah, always start with the eyes. Um, well, you don't always have to start with the eyes, but I suggest that you do start with the eyes. Um, so I start with the left eye. So here we go. Uh, let's see here. So my line art's a little darker than usual. Um, I use my mechanical pencil that's uh, 0.3 millimeter and it's uh, is it point yeah it's a 0.3 millimeters and um, 2h 2h lead uh, the HB is a little dark for me um, I use thin very light uh, graphite lead because I have a very heavy hand and if I go to if I put too much pressure on this lead it'll just break so that means I'm pressing too hard. So, and your line art, you don't want it too dark, you know. Um, and graphite tends to uh, leak through charcoal. So no matter how many layers you put on top of the graphite, there, it, it'll still leak through the charcoal. It'll look like it's sitting on top of it. Um, but the Primal Euros are pretty good. Um, the pri I'll be using the Primal Euro 3B because it's the only one I have some reason I didn't stock up on it um, but they're pretty good at covering the graphite so but me personally I just lift it up with my kneaded eraser first wherever I'm gonna draw so we're gonna do the eyes so I'm gonna lift it up a bit here and um, I know traditionally people you know tell you or they teach you to start from um, the lighter tones and work your way up for me, I like starting at mid-tones, um, and I lift away the lighter areas and darken, of course, the darker areas. So that's actually a preference, however you want to do it. But for me, I like working with mid-tones first. Um, so let's dab at this with my kneaded eraser. So that's pretty light. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, mark off your highlights. He has like a little highlight right there. There's a highlight right there in the middle of his eye. So let's mark that off. Like that. Okay. And so let's start with the iris. Let me hit pause for a little bit here. My video is very jerky. 